What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Greg Garlock of DLR Group. Greg, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great this morning. Thanks, yeah. George. Awesome, awesome. Glad you're here. Now, we're right here in the Guy V. Lewis Development Center to kind of push this facility, this program into the future. You guys created something amazing for these guys. What went into the development of this new place? Great question. Well, as you mentioned, a great history at U of H basketball from the 60s through the 80s, Vice Slam a Jam, a lot of people are familiar with. But then there was sort of this gap where they kind of fell off the radar. The program was doing OK, but it just didn't have the, the pizzazz and the, and the exposure that it did prior to that. And so in order to recruit better players, get the program back up to, to levels that it had seen before, U of H charged us with creating a facility that would help them recruit better. And then once I got those recruits on campus, really allowed them to develop into fantastic basketball players and, and hopefully lead to the new generation, new chapter of success for U of H basketball. When a recruit walks in here, and sees the history compared to what they did in the past, what do you think is the first thing that they notice? Well, I think the first thing they hopefully notice is, wow, this place takes basketball really seriously. Brings me as a student athlete on campus, but gives me all the tools to, to maximize my abilities. And so we hope after this initial wow, and they start taking their tour through the rest of the venue, they start to understand all of the tools that are available to them to become the best basketball players that they possibly can be. The outside of this building was an opportunity to create a new language, a new excitement for the program. We wanted to create a very dynamic piece that would get people excited, interact with campus next door. You'll see lots of glass. We put the public spaces forward facing. People can walk by. They can see the history of the program. Very modern metal panels. We make some nods to the basketball with some curved elements in the metal panel. We've got some wood elements that are not meant to be in your face, but sort of remind you of the basketball courts. We wanted to tie it all together. And I, I think we were really successful in is really our goal. So Greg, we're in the sports development area. Over the years, taking care of an athlete has changed a lot. What was in mind for you guys creating this area? Great question. It was really twofold. First, part of recruiting, as we know, that's the foundation of any great program. So when a recruit's coming through with their parent or guardian, that parent or guardian wants to know that it's not just about the flashy stuff, but that their student athlete's going to be taken care of off the court as well as on the court. We want student athletes to come into this space, take advantage of what's here, take care of their bodies. And so it's located such that it's very easy for both the men's and women's programs to access it several times a day. They're here before practice for treatment if they have an injury, they're getting their ankles taped, and then certainly after practice they come into hydrotherapy or any other sort of nagging injuries. This space allows them to do all of that so that they can maintain peak physical condition. Okay, Greg, what was the thought process in creating this? Showcasing a blast from the past, but also showcasing some of the new as far as the banners being hung. Yeah, it's the same story of that. It's not only about what's gone on in the past, but looking forward in the recent, right? I think the reminders in this space kind of do both, right? We've got the nod back to the Fight Slamma Jamma in the 80s, and then we've got what's gone on recently. And so that really helps achieve that balance of the history with the future. Right off the court, there's actually a, a little video monitor where during practice, as they're constantly filming all the drills and scrimmages that take place here, if, if something doesn't go quite right, they're able to just step a few feet off of the court, look at that computer screen, dial it back, look at the exact thing that took place. They can correct it right on the spot. They don't have to wait till after practice. They don't have to go upstairs into the locker room. It can be done right here and then they can get right back into practice. Facilities like this are always evolving and as part of that next evolution, coaches are, are really intrigued by the notion of recent players that are in the NBA being showcased in the facility, right? Who's been through the program recently that's now in the league? Because that's the goal, ultimate goal for, for a lot of these players. And so players are constantly reminded as they're going to the practice court that, hey, if I put in the work here, we achieve success as a team. My goals of being in the NBA, just like these guys, can be achieved as well. Okay, Greg, every recruit needs a, a wow factor. This is the wow factor for the U of H men's basketball program. Really important part of a project like this, because this really becomes a player sanctuary. And as you mentioned, this entire level is dedicated to the student athletes only. And so the first thing that happens when they walk into their locker room is there's this inspirational moment here that sort of reminds everybody that, that it takes hard work to become a champion and to be the best student athlete that you can be. Maybe they haven't had breakfast yet or, or it's, it's before practice and they need to fuel up 
so our fueling station is right next to the entry. Uh, fueling the body is very, very important part of that, that rest recovery, keeping your body top level performance. And then maybe after they, they grab that snack, they come over here into the team lounge and there's several TV screens, comfortable chairs, they can just hang out, they can chill out. It just becomes a space where they can just sort of forget everything else for a little while. Then kind of leaving out of this lax space, right? You go into the team locker room. Obviously this is a really important space during the recruiting process as well. It's a lot about theatrics. It's about putting the University of Houston basketball program in the best light. And so lights can be turned down. Certain elements can be turned up. The medallion in the ceiling, the logo in the floor. The TV screens above the lockers can be programmed to welcome a certain recruit or to just create that excitement for the program again. Hopefully this becomes kind of the, the ribbon on the entire package. And Greg, also outside of the locker room, you have your team meeting room. Yeah, and this becomes a really important space. So again, they can watch practice film from the previous day. They can go over drills that are gonna happen today. They can start doing some opponent scouting reports. One of the really unique things about this space is if you've been visit at other facilities like this across the country. You might see those big, comfortable theater style chairs that people can kind of just kick back in. Well, Coach Sampson here purposely stayed away from that. This is a space for work. The sort of studious chairs, the desks. He actually encourages his players to come in here and use this as their study hall. So they're all their academic classwork. He wants them doing this in here in a much more sort of classroom type environment. Very much the culture is set in a space like this. In fact, on the back wall, big letters culture and a lot of it happens right here. We're on the third level of the facility which is dedicated to the coaching staffs and the administrative staffs for each program. Again like the rest of the building men's and women's programs have essentially the exact same spaces on different sides of the building so this truly is a, a coach's level if you will. Those recruits that come through the student athletes now want to know that they're valued just as much as those players in the past and so those reminders be it in the corridors of the coaches level or on the team film room just to Again, it's coaches reinforcing you're an important part of this program and people five years from now, 10 years from now are going to value all of your contributions as well. All right, Don, one thing that's really important to this program, very unique to this program, is their partnership with Jordan Brand. How does that play into a recruit coming in and that wow factor that we're talking about here? Recruits put a lot of value on not just the gear that they're getting, but where it's coming from and um, how it's represented across the nation because it sort of becomes their own personal brand too. Jordan version of the Nike brand is the highest level you can attain within Nike sponsorships. So it's great that Houston is one of those programs that really adds to the interest of the prospective student athletes as they come through the space. So it's really important to display that. It's out on the front windows for visibility to the street. It's here inside for the student athletes and their parents as they're walking through. There are touches of it all throughout the building to make sure that it's reinforced the importance of that and the value of that to each one of the recruits. How important is it to have the facilities stay up to the success of what they're doing? We often talk about the importance of this perpetual building and there's a lot of elements that tie into that. You have to have great student athletes, you have to have great coaching, you have to have a great facility for them to practice and perform in. Those things build on one another. The better the facility is, the better the success that the program has, helps maybe get that one better recruit that really starts to take them to the next level as well. And then that can continue to build because that increases their success. More people start coming to the games, there's more money coming into the program, you can build more facilities like these. But updating them to keep them fresh is really important. 1983 Houston Cougars Phi Slamma Jamma does not resonate with the 16, 17 year olds. So they really need to sell what this program is doing now. They're sending players to the NBA. This program is a catalyst to success for those recruits. Okay, Coach Sampson, you've been at, at stops where facilities matter, right? Big 10, uh, Big 12, and now you're here and you're bringing that facilities matter approach here. Why do facilities matter so much? We live in a fertile, big time area, great recruiting area. When we got here, they needed a vision. They needed something to latch on to, to figure out how do we get from here to here to here. Probably within 20 minutes after the press conference, this was in 2014, we talked about when are we gonna start construction? Not if, when. When is that construction fence coming in? When are those 
machinery coming in? When is that dirt being dug? What does the design look like? Is it gonna be one floor, two floors, three floors? How much room do we have? Hunter was really the one that got it off the ground. We're taking this place from being a mid to lower level Conference USA mentality to a championship mentality. And the number one thing we did was when those kids came on campus, they walk into the Guy B. Lewis Development Center, it said, Basketball is important here. And here's what I want to say about our administration, starting with President Couture and Chris Pesman, all the way down to the former athletic directors and Tillman Fertitta. I've asked for a ton. They never said no, because everything I asked for was for this program. You know, and the fact that, that we're coming off uh, four consecutive years of being ranked, four consecutive years of the NCAA tournament, Sweet 16s, Final Fours, doesn't happen without this facility. Is this the reason why we're winning? Of course not. The reason we're winning is we get good players, but how do you get those players? There's gotta be a wow factor, man.